Uh, let's do this right now. It's a good time, I think. Uh, just real quick, do yourself a favor. Check your face. If you still have a face, congratulations. You survived the apocalypse 2012. You're still here. Yeah, yeah, you did it. Honestly, people did not think that you could do it. The world was literally against you. You know, uh, and now we're here. It's, it's 2013, and I think people are like, uh, well, glad that apocalypse did. Oh, I prefer to think, no, no, it did, and we beat its ass. <laughs> <laughs> we beat it so bad we didn't even notice it was there, it's like a wuss apocalypse. <laughs> and that's just for me because I'm tired of being scared. I mean, I know people are going to predict doomsday again for something. If it's not the Mayans, it's something. And I just want to be able to say to myself, no, apocalypse already did it. Not that bad. Not a big deal. <laughs> Uh, I'm not the kind of person that gets generally scared by stories of doomsday and stuff. I don't believe in mumbo-jumbo, as I call it, uh, usually. But, you know, it was 2012, so I admit, people, I don't know if you noticed, would not stop talking about the apocalypse for an entire year. So, uh, I admit, I got beaten down. I started to, to see signs. I mean, most years, I would not have cared if Kim and Kanye got together. <laughs> but it was 2012 when they did. And so it went from, oh, this is not going to be good, <laughs> to, oh, this is apocalypse, man. <laughs> this, this might be a sign. And then we did it. We made it through. And now it's 2013. And as we established, she's pregnant now, right? Oh, my God. So I'm still in that mode, and my brain's thinking, oh, crap. What if the Mayans just forgot to carry the one? <laughs> and now it's 2013, and now in nine months, that baby is somehow going to destroy us with its next generation ass powers. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, some people may be asking themselves, is that a joke about Kanye being an ass, or was it a joke about Kim's big ass? I don't know. Oh, yeah, decide for yourselves. Tip for next time you hear that. Um, but, so, congratulations. Great news for them. They have a baby. It's magic. Uh, although it is the kind of thing that makes a guy start thinking and, and taking, you know, in our lives. And um, I think the most magical thing of all, now that I think about it, is that Kim Kardashian had never gotten pregnant before. <laughs> right? I mean, truthfully, we'll never know what went on behind closed doors between Kim and her abortionist. Um, but, hey, hey, you know what? She made it through, one way or the other. And I give her credit. I never look at her and think, you yeah, know, she's a planner. Life is just a chessboard to that woman. <laughs> Five moves ahead. So she did it. It seemed like people wanted it to be over almost. Uh, they wanted an apocalypse after they stopped making Twinkies. Uh, you heard about that, right? No more Twinkies. So, yeah, damn it. Such a load of crap that anyone pretends that they care about that. I mean, it's fun, but anyone genuinely cares that there aren't Twinkies. Uh, I mean, I know it. Um, Americans love to be full of crap. That's in every sense, it's like one of our national pastimes. But clearly, the one of the things filling us with crap was not Twinkies for a long time, or they would still be selling them. I mean, that's capitalism. That's what America does. Our companies make the junk that people want to buy. So please, uh, nobody pretend. You know, like, oh, guys, I was just about to go out on a giant Twinkie run for December. <laughs> I was this close. Now they're gone. That, no, no one was thinking that. So can we all just take a breath and admit right now, they weren't good. We didn't like that. I don't know why they were still around. And here's the other thing. Oh, someone's defending the Twinkies. <laughs> be a brawl in the alley. Here's the other thing. Guys, we have lots of other crap to eat. America. There's more. Sometimes I feel like America's like a fat little kid on Halloween night. Right? Oh, don't feel bad for that. <laughs> but he's, he, did, he did well. He's got candy. It's covering the table in front of him. It's littering it. He's you know, almost drowning in sweets. And then way over at the edge of this giant table, his little brother's hand pops up. You know, and he can't see over the table, so it's flopping around like a dead fish. <laughs> and it's close to the one Twinkie that he got from the rich people's house. And the fat kid at the table is like... <laughs> Oh no, Mom! <laughs> Mom's like, no, you have lots of candy here, more than enough to kill you. <laughs> You'll get your diabetes patch from Cub Scouts. <laughs> you don't need a Twinkie. 
He's like, I don't care. It was supposed to be mine. Even if it's terrible, I would have shoved it in my gob. <laughs> if that's you, if you're one of those people that still misses the Twinkies, uh, you could make one, you know? <laughs> I mean, there is somewhere, somebody has a recipe for it. Uh, you could go out and make it. Um, that's what America used to do, used to make things. <laughs> now we just complain on Twitter. <laughs> Twinkies are going extinct! Hashtag making an angry face! <laughs> no, Twinkies aren't going extinct. Pandas are going extinct. <laughs> People don't seem very worked up about it. And they're really hard to make! <laughs> Even for pandas! <laughs> I, if pandas disappear, they're gone for infinity. We don't have a recipe for making more pandas. <laughs> But somewhere there's a recipe for Twinkies, and if you weren't a fat, lazy American, you could probably track it down and make one. Of course, if you aren't a fat, lazy American, you probably never cared about Twinkies. So, catch 22 there. <laughs> Isn't it a weird thing about pandas? They're all like, mating is the hardest thing in the world to do. <laughs> Meanwhile, most people are like, oh, we did it on accident. <laughs> We're just bored in a party. <laughs> I think it's a problem for pandas that they seem incapable of boredom. I mean, you've seen what pandas do. Nothing. <laughs> Clearly, if pandas were capable of being bored, life would drive them to suicide. <laughs> but they're still there. I think they're only bored, though, because they don't uh, have mirrors. Because while being a panda is the worst thing on Earth, looking at pandas is, for some reason, the best. <laughs> so I'm, I'm considering starting a charity. Panda Reflections 2013. <laughs> Bringing mirrors to pandas in the wild. <laughs> They've entertained us for so long. Won't you help them share in the joy? 